uh, I think that the lessons, the training courses we delivered were had a good impact on the students because they had the chance to dig deeper into subjects that maybe they knew something about or they didn't know anything about. So it was a chance to explore like new topics uh, like eco-entrepreneurship, sustainability, the circular economy, but also like how to create a business plan and to pitch a business idea. So a lot of things that are very theoretical but also very practical. I think that they were very active uh, for being an online environment, right? And it was a very good opportunity for networking. Um, and I believe also for them to exchange some experiences as migrants, as, as, a, as students abroad. And I don't know, the surprise aspect of the activities that we didn't know exactly that we are going to do them. So you are just put into a uh, breakout room and you have to brainstorm. And uh, that helped a lot with coming up really fast with new ideas and working with people that I've never worked before or never worked with before, like just creating something really interesting out of it. This is the, the good opportunity for me to practice critical thinking mm -hmm. because you provided the space for us to, uh, to share our thoughts, um, to share what we didn't agree with and then we discuss. I think it's useful for, for us to just to learn a new way of thinking and uh, to, to see things from different perspectives. Uh, perspective taking, I think was also the, the skill that we also get. To, to like to be in, in a class with uh, with people sw uh, speaking Swedish uh, sometimes, and to get updated on the on what's happening in, in Sweden. So it's it's great. Uh, I really enjoyed the fact that um, the two uh, trainers were really uh, knowledgeable about the topic and they were really not only knowledgeable but also really good in, uh, uh, in the interaction with, uh, with us, uh, with, the, with the people that were following the model. So it was not just amazing content, but also amazing structure and the engagement was uh, really high. So I really like this part for sure. We are now issuing certifications that are on blockchain technology. And this means that participants will now have access to certifications that they own by themselves, that they can access whenever they want. It's trustable, it's transparent, and it's permanent. The certifications both on ACTA and uh, in the additional certification in a, in a document format, like a paper format that we gave to them. Uh, they include the competences that they're gonna, that they have received or that they have um, developed through the training. So in this way, the uh, participants can always um, explain and demonstrate to employers, to, uh, to educational institutions, to whoever they need to demonstrate it. They can demonstrate that they actually acquired that, those competences. Actually, I was surprised because besides the fact that it was verified, so if uh, maybe I get a job through ECTA, they can see that uh, those are proper qualification. It also filled in a lot of competencies that I've received throughout. So I don't actually have to think about everything that I've learned, even though I know what I've learned and like skim through, maybe this, uh, it's a good competency here, maybe not. Uh, this actually gave me a really good list. And um, also it helped me in the learning process because uh, reading the actual competencies that I got uh, made me think back of the training that I had. If you can certify your skills from uh, like a digital world uh, around, around the world uh, without the need of uh, tons of papers and uh, and documents, uh, I think it's it's, it's going to be a win-win situation both for the student side and the institutional side. I think that the ECTA platform, the aim was understood by the students and the fact that it was there to facilitate the uh, transparency and availability of their skills.
skills and competences through this platform, so it was understood, the main goal. But the issue was, as Julia was saying, the practical use of this uh, platform and the fact that it was quite complicated for the students to register and to understand how it works uh, with the validation. So it was, I think there is room for improvement, but the aim is very positive from the beginning. So. Yes. And most of the students are not very aware of blockchain technology and the use of blockchain technology within the educational sector. So we do believe that this was very innovative. This was this. It's uh, there is a huge potential there to improve um, the educational sector and the credential system um, by the use of blockchain. Uh, it just needs to be more um, accessible, easily accessible, and practical for those who are using it. I think with the world becoming more digitally integrated, it is important that we create platforms like uh, uh, like ICTA to make it possible for people to travel, uh, not have to re-establish their credentials every time they move, and people are moving more often and uh, across much uh, much wider, uh, even within the um, region. So I think it becomes essential that this kind of platform exists. Uh, I just want to thank you again for the opportunity and for the really nice uh, trainings. Uh, I've learned a lot and they were very helpful and I also had fun. I had a lot of fun while doing them. So yes, thank you again for this opportunity.